Welcome to the Vampire Cheat Guide, where I'll be showing you how to get infinite money, infinite XP, how to find your upgrade materials, as many as you want, and if you want to, how to farm XP if you want to avoid uh, using any of the cheats. If you want to cheat, it is possible to cheat at this point uh, as you're leveling up. All you have to do is go into an ability whenever you have the option to raise your skills. And if you hold O and P on your keyboard together at this point, it will add XP. As much as you want, it's unlimited. So that is the XP glitch. Time to show you the money glitch. We are here in the shelter at the docks, and we're gonna go down and talk to this merchant. You can do this glitch from chapter three onwards when this merchant becomes available. In order to do so, you must have the docks sanitized. So everybody in the docks has to be found and they all has to have to be healthy. Otherwise the glitch won't work. Then you'll come over here and speak with Martin. Good evening, young man. There's no need to call me that, Dr. Reed. Show me what you have to offer then, Mr. Nightingale. Now you'll see, none of these items have a price. And that is because the district has been sanitized and it only works in this district and only with this merchant as far as I've been able to find. And it only takes effect if the district is sanitized. So, what you can do is buy all of these items. Good evening, young man. You do not There's need, no need to, to call me that, Dr. Reed. Show me what you have to want. You didn't need to exit out there. Uh, so once you've bought all of the items, go into your inventory to sell. Find a stack. Find a stack of items that has a high resale value and lots of items. So for me, it's this lead plate here, and you want to make sure that you're only selling back items that uh, he already has in his inventory when you first showed up. So the things that you could buy, that's what you want to sell back. If you sell back anything that he doesn't normally carry, you'll lose those items. They won't show up in his inventory. But if you sell things that he sells, then they'll show up in his inventory as a stack and you can buy them back. Here they are. And you can see you can buy and sell the entire stack repeatedly without losing your items and with just effectively creating your own money. So poor Martin, he is subsidizing your bad habits. And that's basically how it works. You can keep going as long as you want. Uh, I probably will never use that much money, but uh, if you need the money, then you can do it this way. Some people don't like exploits. I tend not to exploit in games uh, unless it's part of the game mechanics. It's really up to you. It's a single player game. Um, and so you're only affecting your own playthrough. This will lower your difficulty if you use this money to upgrade your weapons, for example. Next, I, and I will show you how to get the good handles and good triggers uh, that you need in order to upgrade your weapons, as well as the final aluminium piece. That's how they pronounce it in the UK, by the way, aluminium. 
and that's how it's spelled in the game, if you didn't notice. Aluminium sheets that you need to upgrade your final uh, additions for your weapons as well. So I'll show you where you can get those. first merchant that you'll want to pay attention to is Edwina. Can I see what you have to sell? As long as you have money, I'll show you all I have. Starting from chapter four, well, from chapter three onwards, you can generally get some good trigger parts from her. But from chapter four onwards, she starts carrying good handles as well as aluminium parts. Um, the aluminium parts are required for your final upgrade for your weapon, uh, and this is to level it up to level 5. So you'll want to make sure you buy all of those. Rivets are for your gun, so make sure that you have a few of these too. You can also find good triggers and good handles out in the world. Milton, starting from chapter 4, can on occasion carry triggers and handles. Final merchant that you need to max out your weapons early on is Barrett. And he sells everything. But wait, you say, the merchants only sell a few items at a time. This is true. Let's show you the upgrade. enough items now to upgrade my Dragon Bane to level 5, so I'll do that. I also have enough aluminium parts to add the final enhanced damage, so I will do that. Earlier on the blood drain was more important, now I'm just interested in damage, so I will switch this over to enhanced damage. I want to upgrade the tiny knife, or the Liston knife, but I do not have enough tiny good handle parts yet. Oh no, what was me? What do I do? So you can actually advance the day without spending any XP, just by confirming once you go to the bed. And if 
you do this, all of the vendor inventory should be refreshed. And as you can see, we can get more tiny good handles. And down the mini. Now you could run over if your district is not sanitized and go check Milton's inventory as well. Uh, no point in doing that because I know my district is sanitized so his inventory is kind of crap when that happens. So, oh, the docks are actually not sanitized. I have a fatigue here and a fatigue there so I will cure them and then I'll go check Milton. Alright, his inventory is not all that great, but you can see now he is charging you for items. So if he's not sanitized, he charges you. If he is sanitized, then he doesn't charge you. And that is how to get all of the money and upgrade components that you could possibly need as early as Chapter 4. You can possibly get them if you're really, really patient in Chapter 3, but Chapter 4 is where it starts to make sense to do that. If you ever need more XP and you want to level up, the quickest way to do it, other than holding O and P, of course, is to let people get sick and cure them. Now, you'll note from the last video where I was curing people with Tier 2 sicknesses that I got double the uh, XP for that. And if I double again, then I'll, I'll get you know, 100 XP per cure if I let them get to stage 3, rather than uh, curing them on stage 1. The thing is that it takes uh, double the max at each stage, except for stage 3 you get a little bit of a benefit on ferrous uh, tartrate and sodium hydrochloride. So I think the best way to do it is to let them get sick and then um, just cure them, you know, rather than having a bunch of people and potentially being unable to cure them, uh, cure them at the first stage and then rest. Uh, you can wait for a bigger XP boost over here, but then you're going to need a lot more materials in order to do that. 
That should be everybody now. And even just doing level one cures, you can see one run around uh, town to heal everybody it gave me about 900 XP. And that's it for the vampire glitch video. You should have all of the money and XP and components you could possibly want. Let me know your thoughts down below and I'll see you back for the next one.